everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to do a review of a drawing set that I bought from The Works. Now this is the set and it is, it only costs £5 so I thought can't really go wrong with that price. And it is made by Crawford and Black which is one of the, um, the makes that The Works holds. It has 12 colouring pencils, a drawing pad, an eraser, a sharpener and a carrying case. So let's see what it's like. So unzipping the case, it looks rather nice. And it's got quite a good range of colours in the pencils so I'm quite excited to use it. Right, now the drawing pad is only a hundred grams per square meter which is not very thick the paper but we'll have a look and see what it's like. And it holds 12 sheets so not a great deal but you could easily replace it. Yeah, the paper is very flimsy and it's not really cartridge paper. It's more like the paper that you buy cheap kids drawing paper. But we'll have a go and see what it's like. There is no lead graphite pencil in this set, it is just the colouring pencils. But normally when I'm doing a coloured draw pencil drawing, I don't use the graphite. I draw my outline with one of the colours and they still erase fine. It just stops you getting any graphite dust into your pencil drawing and it making the drawing go, the colours go a bit muddy. So I'm just drawing this out, it's just a little picture of my eldest grandson in his cosy coop. And I normally draw out the, use for the outline, I use the coloured pencil that it's going to be coloured in with. So I'm colouring it in, it's not actually coming out very dark, so... Mm. Might be a problem, even the black's not coming out that black. See the colours, even when I've gone over them several times, are still quite muted. Now this could be the paper, as I said that the paper is more like butcher's paper, the sort of paper that you have in primary schools on a roll. And the leads are breaking quite easily on the pencils. Sorry, my head keeps bobbing into the picture. I was obviously zoomed out too far. Now, because I'm not sure whether it's the paper that is causing these colors to be quite muted, I will draw the same drawing again using a proper cartridge paper just to see if there's any difference. The eraser's nice, nice and soft, erases well, the pencil sharpener works well. 
but the colours are a little disappointing, as is the paper. So that is that one completed. Now just to give these pencils a good test, I will try out on some proper cartridge paper. This is a Lindhurst pad made by Dela Rowney and in fact it's the one that I did last, the last video of the spoons with. So I'm using, doing the same drawing just because I thought that would give you a really good impression of whether it's the pencils or the paper. You can compare the two. And I wanted to make it a completely fair comparison. So you could always replace the pad of paper with a good paper in this little kit. Idea for purchasing this little kit was just to keep it in the car for whenever I wanted to sketch something so that there was always something handy in the car but not sure about it even as a quick go-to set when there's nothing else available not really sure about it Just going over my rough outline and starting to colour in. Mm, there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of difference with these pencils. They don't seem to be going much darker than they did before. Now, the previous set that I tested from the works were made by Boldmere and they were £15, I think it was, for a set. I can't remember how many there was in it, but it was quite a large set and they were quite a nice pencil. I mean, I wouldn't have used them for professional drawings, but they were a good starter set. And this set, I would say, reserve for your children. It's, it's not a good set. And the leads keep breaking and it's already a little bit wobbly that lead so it's going to just keep breaking which is a shame you often find that if you drop a pencil on a hard surface that the lead will shatter inside and every time you sharpen it it will just wobble and break again which means that you've shattered the length of the lead which is such a shame so always try to look after your pencils. I mean, maybe the set was dropped or something. But the others don't seem to have the same problem. It's, it's the red. But none of the colours are really bright and vibrant. very difficult for me to get a really dark black on those wheels. I think when you're buying budget artist materials it is a bit hit and miss. Sometimes you'll find something that's really cheap and really great and, and you'll carry on using it and using it and other times it's not quite so good. So it's a bit hit and miss 
but obviously worth a try. If you have got this set, you could always use it for those um, mindful, relaxing colouring books. So I think it would be quite a good set for that if you just wanted pale colours because you definitely won't get any depth of colour. But sometimes a pale colours with those colouring books is all you need. So trying out the some other colours, some blues. It's quite a nice colour blue except that this is supposed to be the darkest of the blues and so I'm going over it with black to make it darker. Using the orange, yellow, red and brown to make up the flesh colours. That's not too bad because it's quite pale. But darker colours certainly are not coming through. And you're going over the yellow with some orange just to put in some highlights or rather low lights and shadows. But even then I'm just finding it is not quite doing what I want it to do. I have done a little bit of outlining with the black just to kind of show things up a little bit more which I probably wouldn't normally do So all in all, would I recommend this set? Sadly, no the paper is poor quality, the pencils are poor quality, the eraser is fine, the pencil sharpener is fine, the case is fine, but I'm glad I only spent £5 on it and I wouldn't buy it again and I wouldn't actually recommend it, which is sad, but it's going to be a nice present for my grandkids. So it's been lovely to have you with me this week for this little video and hopefully you'll join me again next time. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe to see more. See you next week. Bye.